I'm always thinking about how much I hate punk music. Now, it's all—it's always on my mind, isn't it? Because it's always like I'm always listening to bands that are that are so similar to punk, like Big Black and Cows and Cherubs and I guess Butthole Surfers and um, uh, Fee Time. What's the new one I've been listening? To? The Scientists and the, and all these bands, you know, <clears throat> more the noise rock side of things, you know, influenced by pre grunge or whatever. But punk, in ge- I'm just, I'm, I'm mostly thinking about like uh, um, punk music these days because for some reason I was thinking about, <laughs> I was thinking about the phrase "dead kids" <laughs> recently for some particular reason I don't know why, and I was thinking like, oh, that's a good punk band name. But it seems like you can't do that anymore now, and it's weird. Like punk music, I guess, was when you have like I don't know, Dead Kennedys or. I mean, you know, that's 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 a very close name right there, and it's like, ha ha, you know, those guys died, <laughs> and 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 they're like uh, being edgy. I don't care much for Dead Kennedys, you know. Like I said, I don't like punk, but they were somewhat serious. I don't know. I shouldn't be talking about them because I don't know fuck all apart from that one song that was on Guitar Hero. But people, it seems like punk music. Well, back then, you could do stuff like that where it's like, oh, shock value, even if it's just for fun. I, I guess I talked about this previously with Steve Albini, but like, even if it's just for fun and you're just fucking around and, hey, just having fun with the music, just being an edgy young dude, because that's, you know, punk music, it was certainly edgy. It was about as young dudes and girls and rock, rocking on, you know, rocking the world, <laughs> just playing sh- shitty music. Not even playing their instruments properly, out of tune, out of time, uh, not in uh, in sync with each other. <clears throat> but you know, just just being young and dumb and full of Caribbean rum. But you could do that. You could do that sort of thing for, for, for like just being edgy, like having a starving kid on your uh, <laughs> starving Ethiopian kid on your album cover, and either um seriously like oh but we're making a statement oh you're just like ha ha <laughs> not ha ha but just um just for sh- for shock value simple shock value just for its own sake which is fine it's fine you, you see what works but yeah i just get the feeling now that punk music i'm just talking a lot of shit but i guess punk music which i don't even know if it even exists anymore is is i wonder what it even sounds like these days it's like oh, do 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 do, I do 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 do, Black Lives Matter, I do 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 do, Woke do do, I do 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 do. Um, yeah, it's probably terrible, but it seems like now punk music. I'm just associated with woke, whatever, and that that obviously means that like everything has to be very literal. So everything that you say in a song is just this is what I think, and that's it. <laughs> it's no like illiteral. <laughs> Shit, get there's no like, there's not even really metaphors. There's no irony. There's no like, you know, the shock value saying something, but like actually not believing or whatever, or just being exploratory. There's none of that. It's just, it's just that it seems like it has to be very uh, on the on the pee hole. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm being very prejudiced because I don't listen to punk music these days or back then or at all. I just listened to mostly rock music from the 80s, like the aforementioned bands. And speaking of dead kids, by the way, <laughs> I've, been, uh, I've been listening to a lot of Michael Jackson <laughs> recently. Michael Jackson, come on. And I don't know, I, yeah, I don't know, I, just, I don't know how, uh, I don't know, it's, you just you, you you finally give in and you finally start listening and I don't really like all of his songs like it's weird like got like from one song to another it's just like this is good this is good this isn't good this is good but like for instance I don't care that much for Thriller I don't like Billie Jean and that's his most most streamed song on Spotify Billie Jean I don't get it it's just that song like don't you think like musically. Not like the lyric, uh, the singing aside, I guess. But don't you think like the verse and the chorus sound the same? <laughs> Doesn't it kind of just sound like a continuation? It just keeps going. I may be technically wrong, but as opposed to like beat it, 
which I feel beat it. You could say is the best song ever. I don't know if it's like my favorite song or whatever, but it sounds just. It has. I think it's the best song ever made, apart from like the opening with the boom, which is someone just punching down on the keyboard, just going boom, boom, boom. It's like yeah, all right, whatever. But I mean, that song's kind of got everything. It's got a good message. Um, it's famous. It's very famous. You need that to be the best song ever. You need to be like a famous song. You're not going to see like Rolling Stones or whatever. Uh, Rolling Stone, I mean. Why the, why the fuck is there a music magazine named kind of after a band? What the fuck? I've always found that weird. Anyway, you're not going to see any like website or magazine like them doing like the top one, 10,000 best songs ever made. And they have... Um, like a song that you've kind of never heard of at the top. And then you listen to it, you're like, oh, wow, that really was the best song in the world. Oh. I saw that on... Do you guys remember 20 to 1? I fucking loved that show with Bert Newton. He died recently, didn't he? I swear to God, did he? Did Bert Newton die? Yeah, he did. He died last <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that's right, you fucking racist white man. Old white man. The fuck? Out of yeah, no, he did actually have a racist <laughs> row with um. Anyway, yeah, there's twenty to one where they talk about like twenty to one of the whatever kind of. They had twenty to one like most shocking moments on Australian TV, and he was in number one because he was with Muhammad Ali, and he said something accidentally racist to him. He was like, "That's my boy," and Muhammad Ali's like, "What? What'd you? What'd you say? Wait a minute, hang on, what? What?" what? And Bernie was like, oh, what are you doing? I'm just trying to, let's get on with the broadcast. And everyone in the crowd's like, no, he said, that's my Roy. <laughs> I was saying boo words. And yeah, it was a, but Bert like squashed that beef real quick backstage. He didn't get slapped, you know, <laughs> or tackled or whatever. Um, and it was fine. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's, yeah, fuck you, Bert Newton. You're dead racist. <laughs> you dead Kennedy. Uh what the fuck was I saying? So 20 to 1. Yeah, they had 20 to 1 best uh, Australian songs. And they're going through them and I'm seeing like, oh yeah, this and that and whatever. Um, I guess if someone said to me, like, you know, not, not what's your favorite Australian song? What's the best, most recognizable, I don't know, Australian song? It would be whatever the fuck it's called. D Land from Down Under. You know? They handed me a Vegemite sandwich. That song, right? So that, that came up number two. And I was like, oh, okay, what's number one? And number one was like a song from this group from the 60s or maybe the 50s. They were like a rock band. I don't remember the... F what the f... Like, that was a, a weird thing because I've never heard of this band before. And I've never heard of them since. I have literally only heard about them when they were on 20 to 1. And all these Australian people were saying, this is... The greatest Australian song ever made. And I'm like, what is this? It's just like, one, two, three, four. I'm like, all right, what the fuck? I've never heard of this shit. I literally never, never up until that point and never since. But I, I, yeah, fuck, I can't remember. I wish, I hope I can look up all the 20 the ones um, and find out what the fuck it was. Wait, give me a minute. Oh, God damn it, I can't find it. I can't find it. I spent three hours trying to find that fucking thing. <laughs> trying to find this song. It never even existed. It was all a dream. Well, I don't understand that. What was number one? Anyway, back back to Michael Jackson. I don't even know how I got the... <clears throat> that shit, but... um, Jam on. I was supposed... To, uh, I, I, I don't really... Like I say, like some of the songs suck and some of them... And I've been watching, like, I have a videotape, a VHS of, um, of his, uh, what's it called? His, his story with, it's got like all the, all the videos. Uh, but I've only like, I'm only like halfway through and some of the videos, like, I, uh, no, no. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really care. Like they're just, they're just lo long not long, but like they're, they're short movies, but they're like 26 minutes and they're just like shitty, <laughs> badly acted, badly written. Just MJ going, oh, 
Come on. While he's trying to do his lines. <laughs> Man, he got Tourette's. And he, uh... I'm trying to think, which one was it? Black and white is a fucking weird and uh, and, and dis, dis, dis disturbing video clip. It's just like, it's got like Macaulay Culkin at the start. And um, and that like, what, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? That's so fucking, it's so aggravating. It's so unfunny. It's just so unfunny. He just gets told off and then he like blasts his parents away. It's so empire <laughs> it's so gen x it's just oh why is this you know, just get on with a shitty song and then and then it's, fuck me man it just has to keep going on and i guess the song ends with uh ends with mj just going ape shit in a <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> like he's, he's in the studio filming the video yeah the video that we're watching then he just walks in he doesn't walk. He's a panther. He's a fucking panther. He stro strolls into the, as a panther, into the um, alleyway, turns into Michael Jackson, and is in this like, like really like well lit, like alleyway. He starts like dancing. It's actually cool though. I actually like it because <laughs> there's no music. He's dance. He's just dancing, but you can hear him. It just goes. He's like doing pirouettes and slapping himself and jerking off and everything. And he's jumping up in a car. He smashes the windows. And I'm like, hey, that's my fucking car. And it's, um, he does that for like, I think literally like seven minutes or something. And then it finally ends. And then it, like, it's, then it, you, it, it zooms out and it's all being watched on a TV in The Simpsons. What the fuck? What the? Fucking hell. <laughs> God damn, man. That's... I'm, I'm just going to say that's retarded. <laughs> that's, hang on. i got to see what other videos. Well, then... But I was watching... What's the other one? I mean, there's Thriller, which is, um, again, just kind of stupid. I, yeah, I, I don't dig it. I don't, I don't dig it. It feels like it's supposed to be for children because it's just bad. It's kind of badly shot in some ways. It's just like, it's not good f filmmaking. I just sort of see it as a bit like, uh, and it's not a story. It's just supposed to be in service. I guess all it was, was that Michael Jackson and company had a lot of money. And MJ is just like, I want to make video clips that are like short movies. It's like, what you gonna do? <laughs> so he got, um, you know, great directors like, John Landis and Martin Scorsese and um, uh, so who, yeah, I don't know whatever that's it <laughs> that's it you got Sp Spike Lee as well later on uh, to to make these videos and to make them fucking you know twenty fucking minutes and on this video that I have like they don't even like have the entirety of bad it's like fuck it <laughs> like when it comes up on the on it it just yeah, it's like it's, it's kind of startling. It's just him in the car park, and I'm just like, oh, I thought there was more. Oh, no, all right, whatever. Ban, ban. I heard that when he did the video clip for um, that pr that pretty great song. Uh, actually, they don't care about us. Is um, like Michael Jackson wanted Spike Lee to direct. He's like, I want Spike Lee. He's really. <laughs> He's a black filmmaker who really knows the black struggle of a black America and the black film. <laughs> or whatever, I don't know. It's like, you're, you're a honky now, you know, understand, MJ? But uh, he's... Yeah, they did the video clip. What was it? It was it, And it was shot in uh, Brazil. Uh, in, in Rio de, de Janeiro. <laughs> and... And man, Michael Jackson didn't like it. And he's like, do it. I want another one, May. Do it again. <laughs> Fuck Spike Lee. I don't want that fucking guy anymore. <laughs> well, fuck. He try, tried to make a... Oh, yeah. The way you make me feel video clip. Um, yeah, that's really weird. It's just him. Like, it's very like, ooh, me too. -y. It's just him. Like, yeah, it's actually, it, it, it's really bothersome. Like, it's, it's just like trying to get with this girl, you know, and he's... It's, it's, it's too it's too aggro. It's really just too... Which I guess women like. I guess women like that. I guess women like it when you fucking go up. You're like, hey, I want to I wanna fuck you. <laughs> like, ew. 
And then you just slap him. <laughs> no, you will fuck me. It won't be rape. You will fuck me. <laughs> you will do it now. <laughs> and they're just like, oh my god, my pussy's wet already. Just stick it in. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's basically what he does throughout the video. It takes a bit longer, but yeah, he does. Um, he does uh, st stick it in her. <laughs> no, that was that was cringy. That's. I, I don't mind that song. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really mind it, you know. I don't know about black. Yeah, black or white's okay. Black or white. Black and white. Why do I think... Or in Michael Jackson's case, black then white. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, man, I wish I had finished watching this VHS Betamax tape. This laser disc. Because... Because <laughs> we do have... Beta, fuck, man. I, I, need to, I need to talk more about... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more about these video clips. Damn on. Yeah. I'm not really getting obsessed with Michael Jackson. I've just been reading more about him, like, in this, like, huge-ass book that, like, covers every fucking, like, solo song that he's done. And, uh, yeah, he was, like... I don't know. I'm jealous. <laughs> I, I, his family was jealous. Like, I think when he was six years old, he did, he did a cover of... Oh, fuck, I don't know. Whatever, and <laughs> he he did it um, uh, for like a school thing, and everyone was blown the fuck away. And the father, Joe Jackson, wanted to make Michael Jackson at just six years old, like the star of the Jackson Five. Um, so like his older brothers must have been like thirteen or maybe uh, older. They're like, "What the fuck? We're older. We should be the stars." <laughs> but hey, now you don't have the gift. You don't have it. If you don't have the gift, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> More like the burden, I'm sure. I'm sure Michael Jackson's just like, I wish I could just live a normal, quiet life and <laughs> raise my own family in my mansion, <laughs> my roller coaster, and my llamas. Yeah, I'd like to watch some, like, Michael Jackson documentaries, but, like, not the ones about him, like, he molested me. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't, know. I don't even know, what to, I even think about all that, but, um, yeah, cool guy, <laughs> Michael Jackson, I would have hated to have gone to his concerts, it's annoying to go to concerts when you want to, like, watch a, a, a rock band, a pop star, or whatever, you're there for, like, to, to, to watch them, but you're, lis you're listening to the music, it's playing live, and everyone around you screaming, you're like, shut up, I'm trying to listen to the music. <laughs> you're ruining it for the rest of us. <laughs> it's bullshit. Anyway, fuck Michael Jackson. Um, but I will, uh, fuck, I wish, yeah, I really wish I had watched the rest of these, but I'll do it tonight when I'm drunk. And, <laughs> and uh, did I miss anything? Uh, Billie Jean. Yeah, Billie Jean's not a very good video clip. It's really, sh you know why it's shitty? Because I don't like the uh, matte paintings. I'm looking at them, and I'm just like, I see a matte painting. It's just like, I gotta, yeah. It's just, I'm, I'm just looking at, it's technically, and, 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 and you think like, what the fuck is this even supposed to be about? Like, this sh stupid short film, but it's not even, there's no story, there's no themes, all, the, all there really is is just the music. But whatever, I, I understand where music videos were at that point. Because, um, I mean, these... Because Thriller came out in 82, and MTV came out in 81. So I think they were, yeah, like, you know, really trying to capitalize on, like... Uh, yeah, just the music video kind of craze that was coming through and whatever. Anyway, uh, Netflix has plummeted their stocks. <laughs> they did on purpose. Yeah, I can't, I, I cannot, I can't bring myself to even get Netflix. Like, it's just, you gotta wait, like, every year. Every year, I suppose around Oscar season, you just gotta, yeah, you just gotta get Netflix around, um, Christmas time or whatever. Uh, it's, I, 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 I just, I, I can't do it, I can't do any of these fucking streaming services. Eat, I, I, I actually need to get Amazon again. I need to, I need to. <coughs> Ugh. 
I, 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 I suppose. I'm going to regret it. I just always hate it. I always hate it. Like, I guess it's just for TV shows. You're just paying $15 a month for The Office, right? And Parks and Rec. And this is sunny. <laughs> it's always sunny. <laughs> this is sunny. <laughs> oh, I've never seen it. Should probably get Netflix and watch it. Um, it just seems to be for that. I guess it's just for like these long, f- for, long form, long, like many seasons of like a, t- a TV show. Or Seinfeld now on Netflix. But it's, yeah, that's cool and whatever. But like, I. For, for movies, it's just so shit. It's unbelievable. It's so unbelievable. I'm just. And I gotta say, man, even Stan these days is like not doing good. I swear to. Like, I. Like. You can tell when you like you add movies to your favorites like or to watch and then they they're not there like later on. They're just not there. Um like maybe next time you get the uh you get the the service it doesn't show up. That's bullshit. That <laughs> I, I just watch a shit ton of movies, man. <laughs> so I I need uh, torrenting. I need <laughs> I need I don't know like I just Trying to find, and the bad thing about streaming is that I found that's this is why I hated Netflix because last time I had it, I was only watching movies that were on there, which was okay, I guess. Like I, you just watch what you want, um, but it's kind of forcing you to watch like only these things. You're just like, oh, I guess this movie, ah, oh, yeah, all right, I'll check this out. You know, I'm kind of just checking things out to see if they're good, and I'm like, oh, they're all right, I guess. <laughs> I'll never watch it again, but that scene was good. <laughs> and but in a way, that is kind of a good thing to have uh, um, some something to kind of direct you into what movies you want to watch, because otherwise you're just like, oh, fuck, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to watch. I'll just jerk off instead tonight. But, you know, a lot of people have been complaining, you know, it's, I don't know if it, it seems like I'm not saying it is, but it seems like people are kind of coming around and they don't want to, uh, or they're, they're kind of figuring out. Like back in the day with Netflix, you know, first like it was torrenting, people were torrenting, and then Netflix came around. People were like, oh, I guess I don't need to torrent, and it's getting harder. I don't know how to do it. I need a VPN. I don't know where the website is anymore. Where's the URL? I keep trying to torrent, and it doesn't work, and this and that. You know, <clears throat> same for like streaming. I suppose it's always just a hassle, and. And, and and they're like oh and, and whatever I can just watch shit on Netflix you know and then you know Hulu comes along and HBO Max and you're like oh yeah, I'll get those as well and then you're like ah oh, maybe get rid of Netflix and keep HBO Max and then watch everything on HBO and then you go back to Netflix you go to Hulu you go to whatever um, but that's the thing you know or, or maybe you don't have any at all you're just like fuck it I go back to torrenting because you know you can't just spend fifteen dollars on like you know two like or or three or four or five I mean, I know people that do. They just have everything. They just have Netflix, Stan. Um, I, I should steal their accounts. Uh, Disney Plus, um, which just seems, um, and, and it's just getting more expensive. And I mean, like, there is more content going up because there's more produced shows for you know, for these platforms, uh, and just more shit going up there. But there's a lot of stuff being taken off as well. And you end up with just like nothing but like, you know, the Indian films like Cabal 2. And you're like, fuck, it's two and a half hours long. Well, I guess I'm watching this tonight. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is. So you just have like that kind of, um, that kind of crap. And it's worse here in Australia. It's fucking worse. Like we're paying just about as much as in America for Netflix and Hulu and all this. Um, oh, I guess Hulu's not available here. But, and... We get way less of the catalog. Fuck you, man. That's fucking bull. Fuck, f- fuck you. Fuck you. I'm torrenting your shit. That's fucking bullshit. That's robbery. You're stealing from me, goddammit. That's some bullshit right there, man. <laughs> like, especially Apple, uh, Apple TV. Like, I-, I went on there to fucking watch Coda, and there's fuck all on there. There was. Like, I, I swear to God, it was like our homepage that showed you a bunch of the movies and TV shows. And that was it. And there was nothing else. It's like, fuck you, man. I mean, I only got the free trial for a week. And I was like, there's nothing here. I think I just watched that m- fucking Coda and nothing else. I don't think there was anything else that r- I really wanted to watch apart from Severance, which I forgot about. Well, guess what? I'm fucking torrenting it. So fuck you, man. 
Oh man, that, that was just like fuck all on there, and yeah, and, and and you know, obviously there's the whole issue with like these streaming sites being like, oh, we're gonna get rid of the blackface joke, otherwise <laughs> the ghost of George Floyd will haunt us. <laughs> Call us Cracker from Beyond the Grave and stick a gun into our stomachs. <laughs> Don't want that. Um, better take the joke about how terrible and awkward and bad that particular thing is. What do you do? You like it, or are you, you, no? You're just literal-minded cunts. That's what you are. You're just scared cunts, fucking idiots. I'm torrenting these blackface jokes. I'm torrenting all your fucking everything. Yeah, so there's that whole thing where you can't even just. Uh, that, that's the good thing about torrenting and archiving is that, like, when you put something on, um, like these streaming sites, I'm not. It, it really doesn't happen a lot, but it can and does happen when you have shit being edited out sometimes it's just a continuity error that people are like oh starbucks coffee or whatever in the shot but sometimes it is something like this and you're just like uh. <laughs> so yeah but hey you know netflix they're like oh you know they like uh i think they fired like 150 people you know they have to let them all go a lot of woke cunts that were writing like you know <laughs> anti-racist baby and like um yeah it's just nice to hear that all the woke shit is <laughs> is <laughs> it's on its way out I, I don't know but um yeah evident like you know i mean this that all happened and then this new ricky gervais special comes out and it was like oh transphobia oh and as he says in the special he's made jokes about the holocaust and gay people and wheelchair people <laughs> and and this and that and um i don't think he made an isis joke well i will i make an isis joke and yeah and that's the one thing that people point at and go oh but this oh it's stop being so hormonal about it <laughs> fucking take it up the, up your <laughs> front hole <laughs> yes yeah, so that that's it but yeah it's just um yeah that's what happens when you kind of just listen to the majority and not the minority. Even if the majority is just like, ah, oh, you know, that's cool. We don't mind that. And the minority are like furious and they're like uh, having uh, protests at Netflix where they're saying, you know, transphobic jokes are causing violence. And then you push over counter protesters. <laughs> you fucking idiots. You fucking dummies. I'm so glad you're fired. You need to be fired from a cannon into the sun. You fucking hormonal minority <laughs> you minority group you minority report nah i'm sorry well not really but yeah i i, I yeah I, I hope this is like uh how, i wonder like how it's going I, I looked it up the other day but i couldn't see just yet but how's ricky gervais going on um what do you call it rotten tomatoes because you know how with like dave Chappelle and he had oh transfer because uh, uh. Uh, jokes where he's like you know my transphobic friend i had her on stage but then she killed herself <laughs> and it's just like you transphobe um there's not a tomato meter yet of like four reviews 89 percent audience score with more than 100 ratings I, I i did like i found it really funny i i, I did i i am pretty sick of like these comedy specials just like and i've seen really terrible ones <coughs> where like, I don't like woke ones either, but, like, these ones where it's just comedians being like, Oh, everyone's so woke. Oh, you can't say anything these days or people get triggered. People are so easily offended. Oh, stop being triggered, you fucking faggot. Oh, I smoke weed. You talk to dolphins. Um... Yeah, no, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sick of it all because it's just not funny to me. And I also don't like a lot of like the, there's like backpedaling going on in like the comedy. And there's a lot of that in this special. So I'm a little bit mixed. There's so much like Ricky does his joke, then he backpedals and I'm just like, ugh. But then in his backpedaling, he adds another joke that's like, that's like a, a, a offensive again. It's just like, <laughs> I, I, I gotta say, like, I did actually find it pretty like, consistently jokey there's enough jokes and uh, definitely more hits than misses and and it, it's pretty hilarious like I, I laughed hard a lot and oh, there's some specials i watched and i'm just like eh, like throughout it but he, he had some good stuff 
like the AIDS. <laughs> you joked about AIDS. <laughs> But um, yeah, but there is a lot of like you know him kind of explaining jokes and why they're offen- why they're not offensive, why they seem offensive, why it's this and that. It's like, all right, man, we get it. And who, you know what, you, why do you think that these fucking cunts who get offended by your shit are watching this? Do you think they're gonna be like, oh, I understand. Oh, okay, no, you said that, and I was like, hey, you can't. And then you explain the joke, and you explain why, and I'm like, okay, right, I understand your perspective now. They're not gonna do. It. Why are you doing that? And I'm not going to do that. I, I, I fucking, like, I was, uh, what do you call it? Like, drifting off when he started doing that. I was like, oh, whatever. But then he would come back with another joke. So, yeah. Look, it's funny. It, it is funny. And I went, I didn't even think it would be that good. I don't know why. I, just, <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, it sounds good. No, I do know. I do know what I think and, and like. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'm, I'm sick of Rotten Tomatoes, man. I'm just sick. Like, why do people keep falling for this? They go, like, whoa. It's got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Whoa, man. It must be good. Based on like four reviews. And you could have like 300,000 people, critics, give, uh, they're not people, to give a, a film 6 out of 10. That's 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. So what the fuck? Like they're not like gauging like, oh, three stars, four, two stars, one star, four, or like, fun, not even... Oh, uh, yeah, no, it, it is a thumbs up or thumbs down, but there's no, like, thumbs in the middle, <laughs> you know? So it's, like, it's so, yeah, like, binary in that way. It's just, it's so fucking, um, it's so fucking it is. It's fu- <laughs> it's so fucking, I don't know, man, I gotta, I gotta leave now. Anyway, uh, this has been the David Morgan Brown Experience. Check out my new special. Um, what's the thing that people say these days? It's called turf. <laughs> and there's no um, jokes about, like none, no jokes about identity politics or um, gender at all. None of that, but it's called turf. And trans people, or not, not, not trans people, like just fucking these cunts out there, cisgendered scumbags, are still going to be like, oh, you're transphobic, bitch. You, you show some respect. Why don't you have a bit of peace and love? And respect for your fellow person. You fucking piece of shit, cut oh, fucker. Piece of shit, I'm free. <laughs> That's what they seem like. They're fucking like blue check mark in the face. <laughs> Just like, calm down. You're gonna give yourself diabetes. <laughs>